couple of words on placing fasteners from content center. Right, so the first thing that I like to do is to add my favorite uh, content center items to favorites list. So I'm just going to browse to my parts, the most common used, a fully threaded bolt. Let's get some nuts, some washers. Uh, add to favorites. Plain washer. So I've activated favorites, I can see it down here. But why is this useful? Well now, I have all those available here in my assembly. So I can place them really quick without needing to browse for them. So let's try and place these. We've got an assembly here. If it helps, you may want to change it to wireframe, so you can see better. The whole depth. A place. Just going to hold it next to the hole. Already got the size. And now just change the length 20 that's a standard size 20 should be good enough I'll have to check against the threaded hole I can select insert multiple and it will place a bolt in all the holes made with the same future I'll show you in a second. So I have the option to change the size, apply and continue placing the same bolt or finish. I'm gonna hit finish. Let's change back to shade with edges and I have automatically placed sorry, all these at the same time. Let's do the same with these holes. They were also done with the same future. Yep, yeah, looks good. Continue. Do the same here. Do the same there. And I'm almost done. Now what do we mean when we say one future. Let's open it up. We mean that all these holes were made in one operation. We have one future doing all five. Now what happens if you need to put a washer in front of and behind of the bolt? I continue. As I'm gonna try and put a bolt, it won't pick up on the pattern. So the trick here is to pick the hole and then the face of the washer. So we're constraining to the hole and to the face. Now I have the option for pattern. I can do the same for the nut, but it won't pick on the pattern. So instead, we're going to place just one instance without pattern. And 
then let's go back to our model. You do a pattern on the fasteners. And you select the hole as a reference of the number of instances. Now the good thing about this is that if we change the size, I mean sorry, the number of holes, the number of bolts change as well. again the number of bolts changed as well at this point you may need to change the size of the bolts of the fasteners and the length but it's example I have a plate with suppressed pattern components the hole in the middle is suppressed so we're gonna try and place fasteners use the edge In this case, I normally like to start from the other side, put a washer, put a nut, and then decide the length of the bolt. Not like now. <laughs> you got two options. You can follow pattern, and it will actually change whenever you change the pattern on the plate, or just drop multiple instances. So it'll constrain place a bolt and constraint to each hole. And once again if you have a washer in front of the bolt then use the hole as a reference for cylindrical constraint and then the face of the washer as a made constraint. As long as it picks up on the pattern you'll be alright. This is all possible due to the eye made constraints inside the fasteners. Let me just show you that for a second. These are the eye mates. Now if you have a washer or any fastener for that matter. And you want to constrain them real quick. You can you can use the constraint dialog or as you select it the I mate become visible. So if you hold down Alt on the keyboard and you pick the I made, you can drop it on top of the other one. So they're constrained now. And I can do this with the cylindrical constraint.
in a better way using the favorites and fully utilizing the, the adaptivity on pattern This concludes our presentation on placing fasteners from Content Center.